Welcome. My name is Joya Garris. Tonight, my guest is Claire Adamite. She's a cat lover extraordinaire and has even been called the crazy cat lady. Tonight, she gives us an insight into her life as a cat owner with her cat, Harper. Living by myself, I knew I wanted to get a cat. They're good company. I started looking for one before my lease started so that I could have one as soon as I moved in and not really be by myself because they're good company without having roommates. So that's kind of nice. I wanted to get a cat instead of another animal because I have this thing about dogs in apartments. I think that it's like really mean to have a dog in an apartment. Partially I think because I grew up on a farm and our animals had as much room to roam as they wanted to. And I just don't think that dogs need to go to parties and have parties around them or people, I don't know. I just don't think college students have enough time to dedicate to a dog. Because thinking back, like in undergrad, I never would have been mature enough to have a dog and all the responsibilities for a dog. And cats are pretty independent where dogs are not. I knew I wanted to get a cat from like a local shelter so I kind of just googled like the local places and I found the rescue group I got her from on Facebook they only they're called crazy cat lady rescue which I thought was so cute (laughs) they have foster homes for these cats so there's not like an actual facility but they're just all in different homes and so they have albums on Facebook of pictures of the cats that they have for adoption and saw Harper and message them on Facebook. It was kind of weird, like felt really weird about doing it like that, but they were really nice. And then I just went to the foster home that she was at and, you know, met her and played with her and stuff. And then I adopted her that day and just kind of paid for her and took her home. (laughs) So that's how I got her. Surprisingly, a lot of shelters felt like they wanted my firstborn or something. Like some of them like wanted to come to the apartment to check it out and stuff. And I just thought that that was kind of a lot, but they didn't do anything like that. But that's why I ended up going with them because they didn't ask really invasive questions or anything. When I first got her, she was 12 weeks old and they had found her in a dumpster behind a vet's office in Christiansburg. And then the vet's office contacted the rescue group. So she was really timid at first and kind of scared, but she was also like really cuddly. They know when they're being adopted. I don't know if that there's any truth to that, but I think that she knew. So at first she was super cuddly and super, you know, all over me all the time. Curiosity killed the cat is definitely true because Harper is the most curious animal and she's like not scared of anything. But then she also is really cuddly and stuff. That sums up her personality pretty well. She definitely lets you know if she doesn't want you to pet her or anything though. So my favorite thing about her is probably she's always happy to see me when I get home. So that's nice. I mean, that goes with any animal usually, Um, but she is very cuddly and she's super independent too. So we kind of relate in that. Well, I kind of blame myself because sometimes if I have been in class for a long time or been gone for a long time, she gets a little crazy, which leads me to my craziest cat story is that she has this thing with my lamps that kind of look like Chinese lanterns, but they're really big. So they're like really soft, like tissue paper kind of material. And there was one time I was trying to do homework and she jumped up on my lap because she, she loves the laptop. <laughs> And I was like, get off, and like knocked her off. And she went and jumped on the lamp and pulled the lamp over on top of herself towards me and ripped a big hole in the lamp. So (laughs) I was not, I can laugh now, but it really wasn't funny at the time. (laughs) But I kind of thought that it was because I only have one. She didn't have anybody to play with. So she was mad that I wasn't playing with her. (laughs) So she's needy in that aspect. She definitely needs to have her playtime. She loves to sit in the window and watch whatever is going on outside. She also likes to drink water out of the sink or the shower. She'll drink it out of her bowl, but she'd much rather have it out of the sink and she'll just lick the faucet. So I think she enjoys doing that, but I don't enjoy her doing that. But definitely sitting on the windowsill is her favorite thing to do. A special thank you to Claire for sharing part of her life story tonight. I'm Joya Garris. And thank you for listening.